Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can trade or swap different cryptocurrencies using SyncSwap. And this is going to potentially qualify you for multiple airdrops, including SyncSwap itself, but also some of the layer two networks that you can transact on. So for starters, you're gonna to want to go to syncswap.xyz and this is what the trading app looks like. It's very simple. Now up here in the right hand corner, you see that you connect your Web3 wallet like MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, whatever you're using. And then you can choose which network you want to trade on. So currently you can use SyncSwap on ETH mainnet, but also Scroll, Linea and ZK Sync. And each one of these different layer two networks is potentially going to have an airdrop at some point in the near future. So by making swaps or trades with SyncSwap, you can potentially qualify for up to four different airdrops, or at least it will increase your chances of qualifying. Now, how it works is very simple. Here you choose which asset you want to trade. So currently I'm on the scroll mainnet network. So you can swap from any of these assets to any of these assets. There's not a whole lot of selection as of right now on scroll mainnet because it just launched literally this week, but I expect that the number of tokens that you'll be able to trade will increase pretty quickly. Anyways, just to show you exactly how it works really quickly, I'm going to swap from ETH into a little bit of wrapped Bitcoin and you choose first of all how much you want to trade and you can see here how much gas this is gonna cost for this transaction. So around three cents, not too bad since it's on a layer two network. If I was transacting on ETH mainnet, that would cost a lot more. Then all you do is you hit the swap button, confirm the transaction in your MetaMask wallet and that transaction was a success. Now, if I go over here to the portfolio tab, I'll be able to see what I have in my wallet, including now some ETH and a little bit of wrapped Bitcoin. And so really what you're gonna to want to do to qualify for all of these airdrops is to make a couple of different trades on SyncSwap on each of these different networks, but you probably don't wanna swap $100 from ETH to Bitcoin and back to ETH over and over and over again because that is going to be weeded out as a Sybil. You have to make it seem more natural. Now, aside from the trade and the portfolio tab, there's also the pools and you can add liquidity to some of these pools if you're interested in doing that. And if you do, you can earn a yield, although there are risks associated with that as well. But let's say, for example, I wanted to enter the ETH USDC pool. Well, I would have to supply both ETH and USDC to this pool, and then you can earn up to 19.09% APR by providing liquidity to this pool. And the way you do that is by hitting on the deposit tab and selecting how much of each you want to deposit and then simply confirm the transaction. And same thing when you're ready to withdraw, you can do that on the withdraw tab. So if you're interested in maximizing a sync swap airdrop potential, then you can also use the pools tab and deposit into a liquidity pool. So there you go. That is a quick tutorial on how to use SyncSwap. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.